NATO troops exercises in action on land and sea, NATO Marines. This month, troops from the NATO Armed Forces underwent a major exercise involving operations on land and sea. This exercise involves not only ground troops, but also Marine units from NATO member countries. The aim of the exercise is to increase the ability of NATO forces to face modern security challenges and strengthen cooperation among members in the context of land tactics and sea operations. NATO Marines have a very important role in this exercise. They are expected to be capable of operating in coastal environments, as well as carrying out missions involving high mobility, shore attack, evacuation and logistical support. During the exercise, Marines will train in the use of modern equipment, the latest battle tactics, and cross-unit coordination strategies. An important part of the exercise is the integration of land and sea operations. Ground forces and Marines will collaborate on exercise scenarios that depict complex coastal conflict situations. This includes beach landings, attacks on enemy positions, evacuation of civilians, and protection of critical land facilities. In addition, sea operations will be the main focus of this exercise. Naval forces from various countries will cooperate in carrying out complex maritime maneuvers, including maritime patrols, interception of suspicious foreign vessels, and maintaining maritime lines of communication. This is important in maintaining the security of international waters and ensuring smooth sea trade and transportation. Exercises of this kind also serve a diplomatic purpose as they demonstrate the commitment of NATO member states to strengthening their collective defense and response capabilities to common threats. In addition, the exercise strengthens cooperation and coordination between member states, which is essential in dealing with increasingly complex global security challenges. Overall, this NATO troop exercise is a concrete manifestation of efforts to increase military readiness and capability in dealing with various modern threats. By involving ground troops and Marines, and focusing on operations on land and sea, the exercise will strengthen solidarity and coordination within the framework of NATO. In this exercise, NATO troops will also sharpen their capabilities in using advanced technology that can increase their operational effectiveness. The use of integrated communication systems, advanced sensors, and data analysis software will help troops better understand the battlefield situation, make quicker decisions, and respond more efficiently to changing situations. In addition, this exercise will also test the ability of NATO troops to adapt to various unexpected situations. Carefully designed practice scenarios present a challenge that requires creative thinking, good teamwork and the ability to improvise on the pitch. This aims to ensure that NATO troops are prepared for various situations that may occur in the real world. In carrying out this exercise, NATO forces will also cooperate with non-NATO partners who have a common interest in maintaining regional stability and security. This reflects the importance of cross-border collaboration in addressing threats that cross national borders. Through this exercise, NATO forces can test the ability to cooperate with various partners in dealing with complex security scenarios. Not only regarding tactical and technical aspects, this exercise also emphasizes the importance of ethical and legal principles in conducting military operations. NATO troops are reminded to always uphold human rights and avoid actions that violate international norms. In carrying out their duties, NATO troops are expected to set an example of adherence to humanitarian principles. As the exercise progresses, a thorough evaluation will be carried out to identify strengths and areas for improvement. Lessons learned from this exercise will form the basis for further improvements in the preparation of NATO forces for future security challenges. By adopting an adaptive and progressive approach, NATO forces remain relevant and effective in maintaining global peace and security. Thus, NATO troop exercises involving operations on land and sea, as well as the involvement of marine units, are important steps in ensuring troop readiness to face the complexities of security threats in the modern era. Through this exercise, collaboration between NATO members is strengthened tactical capabilities are enhanced, and solidarity in maintaining shared security is further strengthened. In this exercise, various simulation scenarios will be run to test the reaction of NATO troops in facing various situations. 
ranging from small-scale conflicts to more complex scenarios such as threats to critical infrastructure or attacks from parties using unconventional tactics. It is designed to ensure that NATO forces are not only ready to face conventional threats, but also able to adapt to new challenges that may arise. During the exercise, great emphasis was placed on coordination between the forces of various NATO member countries. The ability to communicate effectively and understand the tactics and procedures of troops from other countries is the key to achieving optimal operational success. This kind of exercise also provides an opportunity for troops to learn from each other and understand the military culture of each country. Not only from an operational perspective, this exercise also reflects the determination of NATO troops to support stability and peace in areas prone to conflict. By participating in this exercise, NATO troops are also sending a message to the global community that they are committed to maintaining security and preventing an escalation of conflict that has the potential to harm many parties. The readiness of NATO troops to face various threats depends not only on military capabilities, but also on support and preparation in the areas of logistics and medical care. Therefore, the exercise will also include simulations of supply arrangements, field medical care, and other logistical support. This aims to ensure that troops are able to maintain the combat power and well-being of personnel in situations that may last a long time. After the exercise is completed, an in-depth analysis will be carried out to evaluate troop performance in various operational aspects. The findings from this evaluation will form the basis for improving future strategies and tactical plans. In addition, this exercise can also show areas where cooperation between member countries can be improved, as well as aspects where technological innovations can be further applied. Overall, the training of NATO troops in action on land and sea, with the important role of the Marines, is clear evidence of the determination of NATO member countries to maintain security, stability and cooperation at the international level. Through this exercise, NATO forces demonstrate that they are ready and able to face various global security challenges by integrating tactical readiness, cutting-edge technology and cross-border cooperation. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, comment, subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos. What makes the Royal Marines special is making things happen. You've been a big part of a small selector.